AI is changing many disciplines and opening doors that have previously been closed to many. But like the start of the internet, it is bringing us all together in ways we never expected. And perhaps one of the greatest outcomes from AI so far is that of art creations by all of these AI models. Well, if this interests you and you want to create AI art, or you just love learning about AI, then the next 10 minutes or so are for you. Because in this video, we are going to break down perhaps the six most important tips for getting started with the Adobe Firefly. And if you stay till the end, we'll make sure to throw in a secret bonus tip. So sit back, take some notes, and let's jump right in. For tip one, we recommend using your credits wisely. Adobe is calling these generative AI credits and they will be used across each of their products. Photoshop, Express, Illustrator, Stock, and Firefly. If you're currently a free user, you will want to be mindful as to how you're spending them as you only receive 25 credits a month. However, Adobe has added a benefit for existing paid subscribers that you should definitely take advantage of. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Paid subscribers will receive credits relative to their plan starting at 100 credits for single app subscriptions and going all the way up to a thousand credits if you're on the all apps plan. Anytime that you use the AI features, generative fill, generative expand, text to image, you'll be charged a single credit. Now I mentioned an added benefit for Adobe subscribers. If you start using Adobe Firefly in October, 2023, you will not be charged credits until November 1st, 2023. You're essentially free to use the product to your heart's desire until this time. But how do you check your remaining credits once your limit is active? You can find your balance by clicking the profile icon in the top of any of Adobe's online applications. And it's also important to note that generative AI credits don't roll over. So make sure to use them all before the end of the month if you want to take advantage of your resources. You can also purchase additional credits at the cost of $4.99 a month for 100 credits. Okay, so moving on to tip number two. Take advantage of photo settings. This is an incredible feature that is not available in other generative AI programs like Dolly and Midjourney. Photo settings essentially allow you to adjust the created image to appear as if it was taken by a camera. Firefly provides you many of the settings you would expect to find on a DSLR or mirrorless camera like aperture, shutter speed, and field of view. To enable this feature, all you have to do is first generate an image, then change the content type to photo. Once you've done this, you can scroll down to photo settings and begin making adjustments to your image. This is perhaps one of my favorite features because it doesn't require you to create ultra detailed prompts. I'm sure many of you have seen mid-journey prompts with the aperture typed out, but here you can just change the slider and bam, you have an image that represents something straight out of a camera. Now it's important to note that these settings require you to regenerate the image after you make the adjustments. As of now, changing the settings will not affect the image in real time. So be sure to take this into account when making adjustments because it will take generative credits. In addition to photo settings, you also have a number of other options to choose from to perfect your image. Composition is perhaps the most useful here as it will again save you time by allowing you to quickly pick your desired camera position. There are a number of options to choose from here, close up, shot from above or below, and wide angle are only a few of the selections available. Altogether, these settings will give you near infinite control over your generated images to make creating the perfect photo easier than ever. For tip number three, we have one of the most important features for any generative AI prompt prompt suggestions. AI programs require details to produce the best results. Perhaps the best example of this is with ChatGPT and how it will expand on your prompt if you didn't provide enough detail within your query to give you a better image. Firefly is similar, but like search engines, it provides suggestions as you type for a more detailed prompt. The program will tell you if your prompt is too short and give you an option to pick from a longer one. Try experimenting with this feature to see what options you are given. I've found this feature incredibly useful for helping brainstorm different ideas. So if anything, you don't have to use this feature except to help you create iterations of your original idea. And that's perhaps the most powerful feature of any generative AI program. Whether it's a text or image response, having the ability to expand the number of ideas you're introduced to during the creative process is possibly the greatest part of this AI revolution. Getting stuck on the blank page is now a thing of the past. Use Firefly to quickly brainstorm images to get your creative juices flowing. As a creator, you may find a time where you need to match your image with a certain style. 
Adobe Firefly makes this incredibly easy. So for tip four, we'll be diving into leveraging generative match. This feature is a part of Firefly and can be accessed with the tool window when creating your image. You can find it within the style section under match. The first thing you'll do is begin using the existing gallery Adobe provides a wide range of different styles to choose from, or you can upload your own. Again, it's important to note to make sure that you set this prior to hitting generate as you'll use an additional token each time you need to adjust your settings and generate an image. I can find this tool being incredibly helpful when you need to work with a brand to maintain consistency, or if you wanna carry over a certain aesthetic from a piece that you've worked on in the past. Adobe provides a number of examples on their site showing off the different situations that can be used. Take Take a look to start creating ideas on how you can use it in your creative workflow. Progressing to tip five, we have perhaps one of the coolest features yet, generative fill. Similar to generative match, this feature allows you to generate new image characteristics using AI. New characteristics can be added such as trees or animals. Backgrounds can be removed in addition to changing them to a completely new locale of your choosing. Maybe you wanna remove the subject from a city and instead use a desert environment or a forest. You can achieve that with generative fill. Additionally, generative expand is also included for you to use. The tool is available today for use within several Adobe apps, Firefly, Express, and Photoshop within the existing plans. I've also started using this feature when creating thumbnails for my channel in Express, and I love how it was able to help assist in the brainstorming process. Creating thumbnails has never been easier, and I'm constantly looking for ways to reduce the amount of time I spend on each portion of the video creation process. So this is of course sure to help. Last but not least, we have tip six, utilize text effects. Different effects can be applied to your creations by adding descriptions of what you would like for the effects or textures of text. Similar to other features we've discussed, this tool also uses AI to take advantage of prompts to generate the result. You can enter nearly anything you can imagine and create a texture in seconds. This feature is available within the Adobe Express and the Firefly web app to be leveraged today at the cost of generative credits. I imagine we'll see these being used in countless situations and similar to generative fill, I'll be testing the feature out with my YouTube thumbnails for future videos. At the beginning of the video, I promised a bonus tip. So here it is, and it's not really a secret. Start integrating AI into your life now, if you haven't already. I know this is probably obvious for most of you that are watching, but I just wanna iterate how important it is to get started learning these tools. By this time next year, I'm sure that every piece of software you use will have some type of AI integrated. And before long, AI will just be a part of who we are. And the sooner you get in on the action, the more you'll know and not only be able to advance yourself, but also help those around you. So I encourage you to dive in, learn all you can about AI and use it wisely. Certainly don't discount it as a fad because make no mistake, AI is here to stay and we are guaranteed to see more of it from here. If you made it this far, then congrats. You now have everything you need to advance your skills and get started with Adobe Firefly. No doubt, having taken your time to learn how these AI tools work will pay off in the future. And if you're the type of person who loves AI, which I'm assuming you do, then check out my last video comparing Dolly 3 and Midjourney. It's the perfect comparison to this video. And hey, what's better than having yet another AI tool to use? I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And as always, get out there and enjoy the AI path. We'll catch you on the next one.